You know, here at Waterfront, we're beginning to operate on a daily basis, providing services. Services like showers and meals and mail pickup. You'll begin to see overnight guests begin to stay with us at both Pensacola and Mobile. Around the campus, we are, have our veterans that we serve in the community, as well as those that are short-term and short-term work programs, those that may be working out in the community or working with us. We'll begin programmatic efforts with uh, some folks short-term, and we'll introduce life skills and job readiness training as they help out around the mission here. You'll hear from Omar, a guest of ours, who's considering Waterfront his uh, home away from home, a place of second chances while he's preparing for his job. And we'll, as you'll shortly hear, he has a job, and he is now transitioning back into becoming an independent, productive citizen in our community. I was sleeping in my car, and I heard about the Waterfront Mission. And so I came here, and praise God, they brought me in. I worked in the kitchen, and about three to four days later, I ended up with a job. So I am so grateful for Waterfront Mission. One, it took me out of my car. Two, I have a job. Three, I've learned humility. Four, I'm a servant of the Lord. You know, we've all had tough times lately, but I want to tell you about what we've seen here at Waterfront. The outpouring from the community and the support has been really overwhelming, whether it was food, toiletries, masks, monetary donations, those gifts continue to pour into Waterfront, helping those who need it most. Your donations, your contributions, they're being delivered here to ensure that someone gets a fighting chance. Around Waterfront, we're beginning to ramp our services back up. I mentioned the veteran services before. They'll be on site and making sure that we get a first response to those who have served us. Our numbers around the campus, they continue to grow week over week. We'll see about 100 on, uh, currently on any given day. So therefore, volunteerism will be an opportunity again pretty soon where we need help around the Mission Campus. Volunteers also in our thrift stores. You know, our stores help support financially what we do here in the community and what we do at our Mission locations. Though 2020 is something that represents what we're in the middle of in terms of effort, it's rescue. It's rescue and recovery typically here, but in 2020, we'll spend the last part of the year and probably the first part of next year focused in those that are in the most critical needs, those that have immediate needs, and our goal is to serve them and transition them so that they have the best opportunity for employment, housing, or to get back on their feet, whether it's with us at Waterfront or with another agency in the area, we're gonna do our best to be a conduit to them. This is a collective effort. We say that all of us need each of us and each of us need all of us. You're part of that here at Waterfront and what you do and how you help us serve on a daily basis. We wanna thank you for being a partner. We wanna thank you for being someone who's concerned about what happens in our community. May you be blessed.